I found seven super viral videos on TikTok and Instagram, and now I'll see how difficult it is to recreate these videos using Kling AI. Starting off with this video right here, this video has 17.2 million views, where it's basically got these different Pokemon characters. I'm gonna try to reproduce something similar. First, I tried generating the image inside of Kling itself, which gave me these images right here, which I think actually came out really good, but it was just not able to capture the Snorlax character. Then I tried creating the image inside of Mid Journey, which got me a little bit closer to the character, but still not quite the look we're going for. Then I tried using Flux, which gave me these images here, which are still pretty good, but not quite right. Then I tried Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, which gave me these images here. And then finally, I switched the model to Ideogram 2.0, which ended up giving me these images right here, which I think these ones actually ended up uh, looking the best. Now, of course, if I spent a little more time, I could have got a closer result to the character, but after bringing it into Kling AI, I ended up with this clip right here, which I think came out pretty good. Next up, we have this video right here, which is just this baby eating food. But if we look at the actual account, I mean, apparently this is super popular. They're creating a lot of videos like this, and many of them are getting a ton of views here. These videos pinned at the top obviously have a ton, 89 million, 44 million, 59 million. So I'm gonna try to reproduce something similar to this one with 89 million views. First, I tried it in Kling itself and ended up with these images right here, which are pretty good, but still kind of have that AI airbrush look. Then I tried it in Mid Journey, which didn't even make it past the moderation. Then I tried it in Flux and I got these images right here, which were pretty good. But ultimately I changed the model to Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra and ended up with these images right here because Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra generally does the best job with these realistic style images. And after running it through Kling AI, I ended up with this clip right here, which came out pretty good. Also, if you wanna check out this tool, I will have the link for this down in the description below, but this is basically how I'm able to discover and track all of the highest performing AI videos on TikTok and Instagram. I can also come to the categories right here, and this is gonna show me the best performing niches and trends, again, specifically with various types of AI content. Next up, we have this one right here, which I've actually seen a lot of these going viral, where it's some type of food item that turns into an animal of some kind. If we come to the actual account right here, we can see that that video has 417 million views. The next one at 164 million views. Let's take a look at this. And so in this case, a little sushi roll becomes a lizard. And so in this case, I had no issues with Mid Journey. I wanted to see if I could turn this piece of bacon into a snake with Kling AI. And I actually spent a stupid amount of credits trying to get this bacon to become a snake. In the end, I got a couple of decent ones. This one came out pretty uh, strange and interesting right here. This one probably came out the best overall where the bacon kind of curls around and it actually does become a pretty good bacon snake right there. I didn't use two images or the end frame feature or anything like that. This was all done strictly just using the prompt which in this case says a raw strip of bacon begins to wiggle as if it's alive. The bacon strip elongates, turning into a snake. Its head rises, revealing shiny eyes and a forked tongue. The snake slithers elegantly across the countertop, leaving a faint glimmer of grease in its path. Next up, we have this video on TikTok, which has 60 million views. And I sort of refer to this as that kind of shocking slash realistic niche where the average person might think this is like a real sea creature they pulled out of the ocean or something like that. And so using the image generator in Kling, I got these images right here, not too bad. In Mid Journey, I got these images and pretty good as well. Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra got these images right here, pretty interesting. And then Ideogram 2.0 got these images right here. And in this case, all of them did pretty good, but I think Ideogram might have got the best images here. And so after running it through Kling, I ended up with a pretty good clip right here.
Next up, we have this video right here, which has 30.5 million views. And this video was actually posted by Luma AI, so we can obviously assume that this was created with Luma. Let's give it a shot with Kling and see how it goes. In this case, I generated all of the images in Midjourney and it did a pretty good job here, so I didn't have to use any of the others. So then of course, bringing all the images into Kling AI. Now this one was a little bit trickier. I had to play around with the prompts a bit to get some good outputs here. But um, in the end, I did end up getting a pretty cool little clip. Next up, we have this giant hog, which I've actually been seeing a lot of these going viral. If we come to the account right here, we can see this is another one where some of them are getting a ton of views, 26 million, 68 million, 32 million. And scrolling through the rest of the videos here, a lot of these are getting six and seven figure views. So I'm just gonna come back up to the top and I'll try to reproduce, um, I guess the one here with 68 million. And so using the image generator in Kling, we got these images right here, which I'd say are actually pretty good. Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra did a pretty terrible job here. And then moving on to Ideogram 2.0, these came out a little better. But then moving on to Midjourney, I think in this case, these definitely came out the best here. And so after bringing the image into Kling AI, I generated a few different versions here, and I think this one came out really good. So let's go with that. <laughs> By the way, if you wanna see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best, I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And now moving on to the last one here, which has over 100 million views. It's a type of zombie exhibit where the zombies uh, start to break out of their captivity and people start running away. But as we can see, this account is creating a lot of videos like this, and it seems like most of them are, you know, six or seven figure views. And so coming back up to the top here, I'm going to try and recreate a similar one like this that got over 100 million views. So Kling AI's image generator gave me these right here, which is not quite the look that I was going for. Ideogram gave me these images here, which were pretty interesting. But in this case, I think Midjourney came up with the best images here. And so after running these images through Kling, I got a handful of really good ones. And so now I'm just going to splice a few of these together. And here's what I got. So Kling AI did a really great job with all of these. It's still my favorite image to video tool at the moment, but don't forget, none of this really matters if you can't make money. So if you wanna learn all of the best secrets and methods to actually monetize your content and create a real business using AI, be sure to join the community on school. In any case, that's pretty much it for this one, and I will see you in the next video.